What's up guys, how you guys doing? This is Ray and in this video we're talking freeze track. Yes, I know I've made videos about this in the past, but we were using Pro Tools 10 and under. You guys know the workarounds. Some of you might be wondering why do we need freeze track? Let's say you have a plugin that's very intensive or you have multiple tracks and you are running out of CPU power, so you need to print those individual tracks to save up resources. Freeze track is one of those features that that's always been requested. It's up there with delay compensation. We finally got delay compensation. So let me show you how you do this in Pro Tools 11. So over here, I have this track here. I'm not gonna play it for you guys, it's not important. And the output is set to bass. So what I wanna do, I wanna solo this. I wanna come to bass, to the output. I wanna right click, and now you're gonna see bounce bass, which is pretty cool. So you have this bounce to uh, this window. You guys know all the settings here, but there's a couple of new things. So you have this offline option here, and you have Import after bounce, but it's grayed out and the reason I have to set it to 44.1k and as you can see now It's ready now the reason I had to change the sample rate. It was wrong. The session is 44 So you have to match the sample rate. So let's bounce see how this works and So now we have this window audio import option. So you have new track or clip list if you select this it uh, imported to the regions list So let's uh, select new track we want to use the track, so let's import it. Okay, and there we go. Check it out. It's right here. So it's the same track. And as you can see, it's all consolidated. So now we don't need this track anymore. So you can right click and you don't want to delete. You don't want to do anything. You just want to hide and make an active or just make an active and keep the track there. You could do this with Pro Tools 10 and under. It's just a little different. You have to actually print the track and there's no offline bouncing, so if it's 10 minutes long, you gotta print it for 10 minutes. I know it sucks, but it's a workaround. I used to do it all the time. I'm pretty sure some of you guys still do it out there. But do me a favor, somewhere on the screen, there's a subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, post in the bottom. And check the description there. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.